We're not boxing here, we're swimming. And uh, Michael Phelps, what is this? Going on 23? What do you got, one? All right, well, we'll come back when, uh, see how the results are tonight. I'm hoping another one for Phelps. Go for the gold. Well, a rookie or a one-time gold medalist can try, but it's not gonna happen. I give him the best luck, but you know, a guy who's won as many as Michael Phelps has over his career, you don't get in his head. It's impossible to get in his head, and it's just gonna cost him. But, you know, it doesn't hurt trying. And I thought it was totally overrated. Um, I think that it was like some friendly competition, and I really didn't like how the American media portrayed it as um, being like the super Phelps versus, um, what's Leclerc's his name, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I thought that it was overblown personally. It was crazy for him to try to get in Phelps' head because Phelps has shown over the years that if you try to antagonize him, it just motivates him more. I think that was the wrong idea to do. I think they're both in the same class. I felt, you know, took it up a notch because of that. I know he's trying to get in Michael Phelps' head, but you can't get in the head of a 22-time gold medal, 23-time tonight medalist. Uh, you just can't do it. And so I understand it. I understand competition. But America, USA, let's go. Michael Phelps going to beat Chad LeClow every day, all day. So Chad has every right to uh, kind of build himself up and pull himself up to get ready for his race. But I think Michael's the greatest of all time. No one can compare to Michael and what he's accomplished since 2000, really, in Sydney. Um, you know, you had the right to do whatever you want to do, but Michael's still going to go out there and he's still going to dominate. So, 